the images, super disturbing. What should we all take from this? What should we all be aware when we when we see what's going on with these deep fakes? You know, I think this is an issue that look how long, sorry, it took for it to come down and how much it had circulated before someone of her stature was able to bring it down. You know, I, I'll tell you, I'm even nervous talking about it personally because I'm afraid of what somebody might do with it. Right. Right. Well, let's talk about the uh, psychological uh, toll for anybody who might find themselves in this situation. Yeah, so it's going to be the same as book. Okay, for somebody who does speak up, reaches out, if you are that person that you're, you've are you been reached out to, mm -hmm. uh, what can you do? How can you support somebody? Okay, so first of all, thank them. Also, preventative measures. Are, what can we do to safeguard ourselves? You know, I think we need to get together as a community, number one, and we need to be um, involved or voting for policies that ensure that tech technology companies, big tech, when they're creating this technology, that they are held accountable, right? So they have safeguards in place to support the general public, not just the ones who are older and who live alone. So if there's somebody today in your life that you can pick up and, you know, just have a short phone call, especially if it's a senior or something like that, go for it.